Catapac, Dragoon, and Barbarian. What's up guys, GH here. In this video, we're going to take a look at a two-handed swordsman build because I thought, how about let's check out the build which is not included in the top 100 class build in this game. And Cataprac, Dragoon, and Barbarian is not included there as of July 17, 2020. And here it is. We're gonna check it out. The skill, what it can do, some pros and cons, and some closing remarks to finish up the video. And with that said, here is Kata, Dragoon, and Barbarian. Let's do this. Okay, here's the build. We got Cataprac, Dragoon, and Barbarian. We're gonna start with Barbarian. Now, Barbarian is a class usually taken because it can increase damage output of the whole build. And this class is here because of that. Now, how do Barbarian increase damage overall? It's with the use of its skills. First is Frenzy. This is a skill that increases damage death when you continually hit after activating it. As you can see, Every time you hit, the frenzy stack increases and so as your damage. And if you stop hitting, the stack decreases. This is a vital skill. Use it at all times. Next skill is War Cry. It debuffs enemies, reducing their physical defense and also increases damage death to them depending on the enemies nearby. Again, another important skill to use right after unleashing offensive abilities. Third skill is Cleave. This is an attack but more importantly, it increases your crit rate and debuffs enemies making them take more damage from slash attacks. Unfortunately, the crit rate buff duration is lower now and the best attack in this build are not slash attacks. Either way, just train yourself to use this right after using your best attack. Next abilities are offensive attacks which is Seism and Pouncing. Seism is an AoE attack that can stun. Pretty good attack for damaging as well as stopping enemies from moving. Then Pouncing. This is a channeled attack that deals decent amount of damage and you can move while holding the attack. There's an art for this called Leather Mastery Animal Instinct. So basically when you have the art, your race is changed to beast type. And what you get in return is your minimum attack is increased closer to your maximum attack and that's barbarian a solid class definitely worth taking if you want increased damage and now let's do cataprac now cataprac is usually taken if you want to move faster and get a variety of crowd control aoe attacks it also has damage increase buff for spears and the reason this class is here is because if you notice the meta 200 spear build lacks aoe attacks and that makes it kind of less useful for mobbing in challenge mode and Cataprac fixes that. Some people also pick Cataprac because of PvP. Because Cataprac is one of the fastest runners in this game. And mobility is one of the most important capability in combat situations. That said, let's look at the skills. First off is Trot. This is the skill that makes you move fast when you're mounted. This is an important skill for farming and PvP situations. Second skill is Acrobatic Mount. It's a buff that increases damage of spear skills and mounted attack. Activate this when in combat situations. Third skill is Earth Wave. This is an AoE attack that knocks down enemies. It's a very useful skill for challenge mode because you can make enemies just bounce around till they get destroyed. Make sure to have a high AoE attack ratio to be able to fully utilize this skill. And to do that, the most easiest way is getting 3 Centaur Scored, Squire Foods, AoE Attack Ratio, and Alchemist Potions, and Buffs. Next skill is much like Earth Wave. It's called Doom Spike. It's also an AoE attack and also knocks down and pushes back enemies. Another very useful skill for mobbing. Then we have Rush, an AoE attack around you, a decent skill. It's mostly used when everything else is on cooldown. Then lastly, Steed Charge. This is your mobility skill. Use it to escape bad situations. And yeah, I almost forgot. There's an art for Rush that adds a pulling effect that increases damage death the closer they are to you. And that's Cataprac, a very useful utility and mobbing class. And now let's head on to the last class, Dragoon. 
Now, dragoons are elite soldiers that specializes in spears and boss fighting. And that's the reason it's here. It has a slew of abilities that can increase spear damage and skills that deals insane damage when used in combination with each other. First skill is Dragoon Helmet. When you wear this helmet, damage of your skill using spears are increased. So wear this at all times. Next skill is Dragon Fear. This increases your damage, AOE attack ratio, and also debuffs enemies with slow which is important to remember because slow and immobilize is a debuff that increases the damage of main dragoon skills namely guy bone this is one of your main dragoon attack that deals two hits on targets inflicted with slow and immobilize another skill is dragon fall it's an area attack that also deals two hits on targets inflicted with slow and immobilize now the next skill inflicts Immobilize. It's called the Throne. It's a forward pierce attack that inflicts Immobilize. Now, there's an attribute for Dragoon that can help destroy magic circles. It's called Destroy Magic Circle. Yeah, I know. It's a creative name. Anyway, when you have 10 stack of Destroy Magic Circles, here it is. Steed Charge and Guy Bulb will have the ability to destroy magic circles. And to stock up on destroy magic circles, you only need to move. Now why is this important? It's because a lot of spells in this game are magic circles. And there's also raid bosses that uses magic circles. And you can use this to destroy them. And that's Dragoon, a must class if you're planning to make a two-handed weapon spear build. And now let's do the good and the bad. Let's start with the bad. Compared with the meta two-handed spear build in terms of damage, this build is definitely lower. The boss fighting capability is not as great, but it's serviceable. And lastly, the skill factor of Kata and Barbarian is very low. Anyway, that's not the purpose of those. Now for the good stuff. First is this build is good for new players because it has the right balance of AOE and boss fighting capability which means this will be useful on challenge mode the most spammed content in this game another good thing in this build is this can break magic circles which is very helpful lastly mobility aside from the skills that can blink you out of trouble you also have trot here that increases your movement speed by a lot all in all if you're a new player swordsman looking for a build useful for the majority of the content in this game, this is it. You can just transition to Hoplite, Dragoon, and Lancer when you have better equipment. And that's it guys, what do you think? Is this build good or should we all go to the meta and forget all the other builds? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.